My name is Ulrike Schwind and I want to show you everything about new data types in Oracle Database 23 AI. Let's first have a look at the features in 23 AI. There are many more uh, and we want to cover them in our video series as you perhaps saw in our playlist. This time Boolean vector and JSON and XML type is what I want to demonstrate. So how do you store data in the database? You can store all kinds of data, heterogeneous data inside and outside the database and even access the data within the database. In case of text data, for example, a common way is uh, storing it in character worker to or secure file blobs. But if you want to take real advantage from all the built-in functionality, then I really recommend you to use the Oracle built-in uh, functions and of course, uh, data types. Oracle Database 23i provides new and enhanced database uh, data types such as vector, JSON, XML type, and Boolean, and it will help developers in building much more easily database applications. First, have a short look about the data types. We have built in, as I already said, character, number, date is an example. And of course, new ones, uh, Boolean, vector, and in from 21c on also JSON. In the, in the section supplied, we have uh, XML type. It's an old data type, but there is a new generation of XML type storage you should have a look at. So how can I use them without telling uh, anything about the, the data types? Here you see the create statement. You only need to, to fill in the name of the, the, the data type, meaning for Boolean here are customers, only you are saying Boolean. For vector, vector is something for a vector search. Uh, we have a column vec with vector, JSON, it's only the keyword JSON. And for XML type, XML type. So have, let's have a look at the uh, the separate parts here and let's start with SQL Boolean. Boolean, of course, is a native Boolean data type. It's compliant with the SQL standard. And as you can see on the right side, you can create it with uh, create table statement. You can insert uh, values, true, false, and null, or literals, true, false, null, and non, uh, zero and non-zero values are also possible uh, and can be used in constraints. As you can see here, uh, we entered some comics with uh, zero, one, um, and, and, and 10, and available, we will get Tantan, Bucks, Bunny, and Garfield for not available, of course, Simpsons and Charlie Brown. If you want to convert it, you can use to Boolean, it converts from character to numeric here for 10, true, and T, of course, true, and zero is always false. So what else is interesting for Boolean? Um, for example, in this PLSQL, you can use it now with PLSQL. Here's a PLSQL function. It's very simple. It returns um, 100 if it's true, and false, it's 200. Now let's create an anonymous block and let's use um, also again uh, Boolean. We set PL SQL implicit conversion bool so that we can also use numbers uh, inside um, PL SQL. So V2 is Boolean is, is has a value one and one as we know is true. So select use pool V2 uh, into a V1. Um, we will get a true value, so the value is 100. So that's possible and makes it easier to work uh, with SQL and PLSQL in conjunction. Vector data types is a new built-in data type. It's stored as secure file blobs. It's a real mathematical vector. You can create it as you can see on the right side. And if we select the column vec, then we can see lots of numbers here. Uh, integer 8, float 32, float 64, and binary are possible formats. Uh, we did choose any, so Oracle has chosen it for us. We only used a vector as an as a as a um a keyword. So internally, uh, as uh, secure file blobs and embedding, embedding model vectors has sizes between 1.5 and 12k. Please keep in mind there are, of course, some restrictions with external tables or, of course, primary key, as you can imagine. So let's query it. For example, let's use the vector distance function here. In this case, with the news, we want to get news that are 
similar to a little red corvette information. And as you can see, we, we uh, get the result here. Uh, five articles are related to this subject. We used vector distance to calculate the distance between both and vector embedding to, to give an import, input and the input is uh, generated in a single vector. A full example can, can be found in the QR code. We have a tutorial and you can easily try it out yourself. JSON data type, it's a native binary format, the OSM format for fast query and update performance, maximum size of 32 megabyte. It's JSON, it's standard conform, and of course it's well form. That's a, a good thing. You can find them in, in the uh, data dictionary table and you can even pre-migrate uh, content. So let's check uh, the table here. The first example is without anything. You, of course, VACA2 can be used, but there is no check. Uh, with a check constraint that you could do before, there is a check. You get if the, the, the value is wrong, you get a not uh, well formed, you get a check constraint error. And in our third example, it's the JSON data type we recommend. And you get, a, of course, as a syntax error. And in other cases where it's well formed, um, you will get one row created. Let's check the user JSON columns and we will find the two tables with JSON content in the database. And now let's check the content. If uh, the content is a real JSON content from another table where we table JSON tab, and we were not sure if this is a, a real well-formed JSON, you may use this PL SQL package to check it. It will create a, a status table, and the status table will, sh uh, will show a status error if there is error in the JSON document. What else can, can we do? Very nice features in 23AI. We can use it in where order by and group by, for example. And this is an example on the right side. Uh, we created generated content with uh, JSON object here. Let's check it with select star from mJSON. Uh, the you can see on the JSON doc information, there is a JSON document. Much nicer, it's with J JSON serialize and JSON doc pretty. Then you get a nice JSON output. Now the last two examples really use uh, the dot notation and in the where clause, in the order by clause, uh, uh, especially uh, the the format uh, that we know e.json.doc.enam in this case so it can be ordered by enam and even it can be also it can be filtered by job other nice um, nice enhancements are external table um, it, it supports now JSON, and of course, we support JSON schema in 23 AI inside create table statement or with SQL domains. Check out the video data use case domains. So in our last example, let's uh, come to XML data type. It's, uh, it's a very long time that we had XML data type. Uh, it's an Oracle supplied type with member functions uh, where you can access, extract, and query XML. We have different indexes for XML types. And at, with 23AI, we have three possibilities to use it uh, as a storage format object relational storage that we have uh, since since uh, uh, the um, uh, since we had the XML type it's for objects um, and for structured data binary XML uh, non transportable is uh, is a very uh, a very a post pass very compact uh, XML schema aware uh, format that you may use um, uh, until I think uh, 19C, it, it was a recommended uh, uh, data type. Uh, but the thing is to decode and encode XML, we needed a central table. Transportable binary XML is the next generation. It's it's improved. So it's, it's a binary format, but it's self-contained. So that means there is no central table stored to, you, to encode and decode the XML data. That means uh, it's a default, it's a recommended storage, and it means also you can easily transport the data, shard the data, or uh, use it for exadata pushdown. And 
Of course, there's also an XML search index possible. Here we created one and you can see the default. It shows the storage type transportable binary. If you don't want this, there is a parameter to set it back to binary. Um, and then you can create an, a text index here uh, when you search for text or even when you search for, for range. Um, then in addition, you use the keywords parameter search on text and um, text values here as an information. There's a nice blog post about this news. Uh, check out the QR code in, in this case here. So, and this one is my last slide. It only wants, so, should show you uh, what you can do with the, uh, with the data types in a query. Here is an example, chase JSON text, a spatial and vector. Of course, we can enhance it with Boolean and XML type. Uh, it's possible to use this in one query. And this concludes my video.